Hello everyone, my name is Whistler and welcome back to another episode of my Hardcore series. Today, we'll be raiding ocean monuments. Is that something I have yet to do in this world? <laughs> and I'd quite like the sea lanterns. And also the prismarine for conduits. So let's get straight to it. Now, I honestly don't know where an ocean monument is in this world, so I guess I'm going to need to get a cartographer. And I don't have any spare villagers, so I guess I'm going to have to breed some more and wait for them to grow up. Hi guys, I need to throw some carrots to these two. There we go, that should be enough just to get the ball rolling. Now breed. Ah yes, there we go, hearts. That's exactly what I want to see. Now, one of the things I want to raid the ocean monument is actually water breathing potions, and I don't have any. I'm just checking to see if I actually have any puffer fish, and I don't think I do. Right, I have no puffer fish, so I guess I'm going straight to the coral reef to kill some of those guys. Here we go, and let's see if we can find ourselves some puffer fish. I don't need many. To be honest, I'll only need two, but I'll get more than that. Um, these guys aren't puffer fish. Okay, is, is there a puffer fish anywhere around here? Hello? <gasps> I think I see one in the distance. That is a puffer fish. So I guess I'll kill this guy and uh, if, if I can hit him. Oh, oh he hit me. <laughs> Where did he go? Uh, there he is. Right, okay. It's t your time. Your time has come. Thank you very much. And I guess I'll kill some more of these, and then when I've got what I think is probably definitely enough, I'll head back home. Yeah, I think seven's probably going to be enough. So let's head back and make some water breathing potions while I wait for that villager to grow up. Now the recipe for water breathing potions is quite simple, it's just sticking the water bottles in, some nether wart, and then you put the puffer fish in, and then I'm going to put in some redstone to extend it. That will give me the water breathing potions I need. And I'm also going to enchant my, uh, my trident a little bit more. So what I'm wanting is impaling. I don't think I'll get the max impaling 5 from a butt, but I will be able to get impaling 3. I could probably have gotten something higher, but impaling 3 will do for now, and I've just realised I don't have an anvil here anymore, because it broke. Um, I've got one in my under chest somewhere, I think. But yes, Mjolnir needs impaling, so that's what we're sticking it on. Stick the book in there, and the trident in there. There we go, and I can upgrade that more later on at some point. Well, I actually have Impaling 5. Why won't you grow up? Just grow up already! It's been ages! Ah, uh, I've now got three baby villagers and no adults. Oh! <laughs> Speaking of adults, here's one. <laughs> right, so I guess I can uh, get my cartographer villager now. Let's just uh, get this guy into a minecart. And that's the baby villager in the minecart. Okay. I, I sense some shenanigans going on. Right, please just take your job, dude. Just, just become a cartographer. I want to buy a map from you. Come on. I won't stop flicking this trap door until you give me a map. <laughs> just take your job. <laughs> take your job and I'll stop. Oh, there we go. Right, so I guess I should sell him some paper, level him up, and then I'll be able to get the, uh, the ocean monument map from this guy. Right, okay, he's leveled up. Ocean Explorer map, this is exactly what I wanted. But I need a compass, so I'll just craft that real quick. There we go, I've got my compass. So, Ocean Explorer map, here we go. Okay, I have no idea where that is, but it looks to be northwest. And it's quite a central location on the map too, I'm quite happy about that, because I want this monument to be a project monument at some stage. I'd quite like a central ocean monument for that, and that, that's good. And I might make some strength potions as well. <laughs> Just so that I can kill guardians easier. Right, so let's go find this ocean monument, wherever it may be. <laughs> that direction. That's northwest. I don't know how far away this is going to be. I know there's no ocean monuments near to my base, unfortunately, despite all of the ocean surrounding it. So, uh, yeah, this might be quite far away. But let's go. This direction. To the northwest. Oh, I'm nearing the prize. Haven't quite reached the map yet. And I'm quite far away from spawn, as you can see. I wonder if this is the furthest I've been away from zero, 00. I don't think I've gone further. Right, I've neared the ocean monument. Where is it? Uh, oh, there it is. Right, okay. That's cool. Right, so I'm actually not going to raid this monument just yet, because this is going to be my project monument. So I'll come back to this later. So what I'm going to look for, actually, is a different monument, and I'll raid that one first. This monument is going to be special, so I'm going to leave it for now. I'd tell you the secrets, but I don't want to ruin the surprise. <laughs> but yeah, so I guess I'll come back here at some stage. But for now, I'll uh, wander around this ocean a bit more and try to find a new monument. One that I can raid. 
Well, I found one, but this is miles away. <laughs> wow, um, I've gone quite a distance. But this is going to be the one I raid first. So <laughs> why am I still... <laughs> why am I flopping around like a fish? <laughs> right, I, I can solve this by uh, putting my chest plate on, I think. Yeah, there we go. Right, okay. So I guess it's time for us to raid this monument. And I'm quite worried about lag, so I'm just going to turn down the chunks to 12 for now. I don't need them while I'm in the monument. So, uh, let's go. Right, so let's just sort out my hotbar. I don't need the bow, I need the trident because I'm underwater. Got my potions. I think I'm ready. Let's do this thing. Right, so these guys are going to target me, but I don't think they'll do too much. Oh, they didn't even hit me. <laughs> Spent too long charging up their attack. Right, so I've got to find the Elder Guardian so that I can kill them. I don't really know... Well, I know where they are. There'll be two... Oh, there's the jump scare. So, there'll be two Elder Guardians in the wings of the Ocean Monument. Here's one. Hello! <laughs> Just stumbled across this by accident. Right. Hello, dude. Your time has come. You can't resist the call for death. That's the first Elder Guardian down. Right, so this Elder Guardian was in one of the wings of the monument, so to find the other wing, you can just swim around the entire monument from here. It's easy enough to do. Right, and here's the other wing. <laughs> I'm just ignoring all these guardians. <laughs> That'll be fine. And here's the Elder Guardian. Your time has come as well. Give me your sponge, please. Why, why am I stuck on the door? Right, there we go. That's a dead Elder, elder Guardian. And he's given me some sponge, which is quite cool, I guess. Oh, no, I've not picked it up. Where is it? I'll need to pick that up. Um, right, okay. There we go, I've picked up the sponge. Right, I guess I've got to find the final Elder Guardian. He should be at the top of the monument, which is an issue because it's usually a maze trying to find that thing. <laughs> I never know how to get in. Because uh, the layout of the monuments is always different. It's always a maze. I'll probably just stumble across it at some stage. <laughs> ah, here we go. Here's the last Elder Guardian. <laughs> Time to die, dude. Thank you very much. I will take that sponge. I'm going to need that sponge later. Right, so I guess uh, I'll just kill that Guardian. And I'm also going to need the sea lanterns from this place, so I guess I have to wait for the mining fatigue to leave. And then I'll mine some of these sea lanterns away so that I can use them back in my villager block factory. And then uh, I'll take some of the, the prismarine too. And I'll also look for a sponge room. Just gonna grab some of this prismarine for a conduit at some stage. Because I would quite like to use one of those at some point. Oh, I found the gold room. Let's just, uh, let's just break my way into here. <laughs> let's take the gold. This is my gold now, fellas. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. Um, other than a full inventory. Now, I'm having an issue finding a sponge room. I don't think there is one, unfortunately. I've been digging around in like a straight line in an attempt to try and find one, just like by stumbling across it, but unfortunately, I don't think I, there is one. Yeah, I'm giving up. Time to go, I think. I'll find a sponge room somewhere else. I needed a sponge for later. Ah, oh. Right, I guess I've got to find another ocean monument. Okay, that's not what I wanted to deal with. <laughs> well, I guess the search continues. Because I need sponge! Just one sponge room would be enough. <laughs> oh, I can't do what I want to do with just three. I'm just on the search for cows, because so I think I need, uh, I need some milk bottles. Yes, there we go. Thank you, cows, very much. Oh, hang on a second. No, that's a different ocean monument. That's a... That's actually closer to my base. What? I thought the, uh, the cartographer sent you to the closest one, but it clearly hasn't. It's this one right here. Okay, well, I guess I'm raiding this monument. <laughs> I need, uh, I need the sponge. <laughs> I hope there's a sponge room in here. So, uh, let's go. Right, same story as last time. I've got my chest plate. I've got my potions. I've got milk this time, actually. But, uh, I don't think I'll use it. Unless it's, uh, unless I've killed the Elder Guardians and I find a sponge room, then I'll use it. But, uh, other than that, I'll just break into here because I haven't been affected by mining fatigue. So, <laughs> this allows me to get the jump on this Elder Guardian very quickly. <laughs> Thank you very much for not giving me a jump scare just yet. That was that was very handy. <laughs> right, that's the Guardian down. Right, guess I've got to find the other two now then. 
You should always try and take advantage of the fact that you haven't been given mining fatigue yet. Ah, there's the jump scare. Excellent. Or, oh, not so excellent. <laughs> right, I've got to find my way into the wings of this place, wherever they may be. Oh, this is the gold room. I don't want to be in here just yet. Ah, oh, there we go. Here's a wing. <laughs> right, where's the Elder Guardian? There he is. Hello. <laughs> your time has come. Like your other pals. Your other pen pals. It's time for you to die, I'm afraid. There we go. Right. So that's the second one down. As lo thunder... As thunder strikes behind me. <laughs> Right, let's uh, swim around this ocean monument, like I did with the other one, and find the other, the Elder Guardian, because he should just be around the uh, the corner here. There he is. Hello, my friend. <laughs> right. Give me some sponge, please. I, I need them. There we go. Okay, right. So, I guess I should try and refind that, the gold room, and as well as look for sponge rooms. So, uh, I, I do need the sponge. I'll just, I'll just drink that milk so that I can get rid of this uh, this mining fatigue early. And I'll re-drink the water breathing so that I can uh, actually breathe underwater again. <laughs> oh, finally! A sponge room! <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted. Right, I'll be able to do what I actually wanted to do later. Excellent! <laughs> oh, there's a second sponge room! Oh, that's cool! This monument must have generated with two. Oh, I love it when that happens. Right, and I'm here at the gold room again. Let's just uh, break my way into here. <laughs> right, there you go. Let's just harvest all of this gold. Thank you very much, Guardians. Your prize is mine. Thank you very much. Right, so that's the second monument raided. So let's deal with the third one. Now, I'm not going to actually properly raid the third monument. Instead, I'm going to capture the Elder Guardians. But first, I'm just going to head back home, and I'm just going to smelt up that sponge so that I, ca I can dry it and actually use it. <laughs> right, so I've gotten all of this loot, got plenty of prismarine for conduits, and a stack and four sponge. It's a pretty good haul, I guess. Just sit stick this in the chest, and we'll send that off. Excellent. Ah, there we go. Let's get my sponge back. Right, so, to do what I want to do... Oh! <laughs> Hello, jump scare. <laughs> Right, to do what I want to do, I need to create some tubes descending all the way into the monument, and I need them to be full of air so that I can capture the Elder Guardians and drive them out with a minecart. And it's going to be difficult, it's going to be dangerous, and I don't quite know how dangerous it's going to be. So I've gotten some stone with me, I'm going to use that to create the tube. Right, just make sure I've got my chest plate. Let's get to it. Just rip tied in, it's faster. <laughs> right, so there's one Elder Guardian in the central room, so I'll just quickly wall this off so that the guardians will stop shooting at me. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Okay. It's just, it's, this is a very dangerous actually, I've decided. But I think I can just break the line of sight just like that. Yeah. Okay. This is okay. Nothing's going wrong. Okay. Don't mind me, guardians. <laughs> Don't mind me at all. It's just, just let me construct my wall in peace. Come on, guys. It's, uh, don't mind me. Let's, uh, let's break that kelp. Oh, it's, it's not a good noise to be constantly hearing, is it? Especially when they're all pointed at me. <laughs> uh, right, okay, I think it's pretty much safe now. I've constructed walls on all four sides, and I'm drowning. Okay, that's not what I wanted to happen. <laughs> Right, just place the sponge, and that is this little chamber hollowed out. So I guess what I then need to do is I need to get rid of these spare blocks. And you can actually mine blocks with mining fatigue, it just takes a, an extremely long time. <laughs> but it is possible, as is demonstrated right here when uh, this block actually decides to break. Round about now, there we go. So I guess I'll need to break my way out of here again and create the proper tube, because this is just a chamber for me to get myself sorted and to have some sort of place for me to hide out in, away from the Guardians. This is turning out to be rather dangerous, but I think it's manageable. I think I can do this. <laughs> right, just, just let me build this tube in peace, please. Just, just go away, Guardians. <laughs> 
Right, so that's the tube complete. I just need to place these sponges and should have a nice little platform for us to get started with, I guess. So now I have direct sky access to the center of the ocean monument. And I probably want to send the Elder Guardians far away from this ocean monument, quite, quite a far distance. So I think way up here will be, be enough. It's uh, more than 50 blocks away from the, the ocean monument, which means that I can mess around with stuff down there and not deal with mining fatigue at all. Now, I think I want to capture the Elder Guardians in here, in their own little separate chambers, and I'll have them in on mine carts and I'll stop them with the stone blocks. And I'll also need to use powered rails for most of this since it's all going uphill. <laughs> Right, so I've actually swapped out the stone blocks for powered rails because that should stop the Elder Guardians and it should stop any issue with suffocation, which they might have? I don't know. I don't know what their hitbox is like. But anyway, let's get this first go. I've not gotten mining fatigue at the moment, so hello. Just don't, don't mind me. Don't give me mining fatigue. Oh. Right, I guess I've got to drink the milk. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Let's try this again. I want to make the entire area mined out so that I actually have some good access with uh, the rails. And I think I'll also mine out these pillars too. I feel like they might be in the way a little bit. Don't mind me, Elder Guardian. I just, I just wanna, I just wanna demolish your home. <laughs> I just wanna demolish your home. <laughs> All right, I think I can out heal this one guardian, which is good. So, and that. Case, let's just uh, let's block up this little exit so that no one can come in and no one can escape. And uh, we'll place the sponge. Here we go. So stop those sources from reforming. Oh, I think they are forming, but I think I've gotten most of it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's good. Right. Okay. I think that was the. No, that wasn't the last one. There's the last one. Okay. There we go. Now it's the last one. Now I've gotten a, a very dry Elder Guardian. <laughs> um, okay, now I've got to get him out somehow. Okay, I need to get him into a minecart, and then I also need to <laughs> send him up. Hello, Elder Guardian. <laughs> How are you doing? Right, okay, let's do this. He's going to be shooting at me the entire time, but that, that's fine. Now I need the... I need a minecart. I need some more stone for scaffolding. Right, okay, so I've gotten some more stone, so that should just allow me to create a nice little rail system for him down here. Let's put my chest plate back on, because I forgot about that. <laughs> um, please stop shooting me, dude. It's, it's not nice. Right, okay, I need to break this sponge. This is in the way. Um, please don't mind me, just, 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 just let me break it. Come on, come on. I'm almost there. There we go, right, okay. Right, okay, I need to, I need to reheal, and I'll set the rails down and get him out of there. Right, okay, minecart. Um, will he just hop into it? He might just hop into it. Maybe I need to move the minecart or something. Come on. Oh, he's just sort of bouncing around. Get in the minecart, let's do it. Just, just do it. What if I send it off? Right, okay, it's now in the middle. Will he get in? Will he get in? Right, he's in the minecart. Okay, that's great. So, I ne now need to send him on his way. Oh! Oh, one of these rails isn't powered. Okay, so I guess I'll, I'll put a block there and I'll put the torch there. And that's that's not set and moving. Oh, I've, I shouldn't have put the... I shouldn't have placed a block! Okay, that's my mistake. Um, let's just move him out of the way because I can't see a thing. Wow. Um, I didn't realise this was going to be so uh, hard to do. I, I guess they can't target me if I'm inside them, as weird as that sounds. But yeah, so I need a redstone torch there. And then before he comes back, just send him on his way. There he goes! Right, okay. One Elder Guardian captured. <laughs> oh, right, I've got to do that two more times. Ow. Right, okay, there we go. Hello, my dude. It's looking at me through a wall, I think. No, he's not. <laughs> right, so just put the chest plate back on, and uh, yeah, hello. How are you doing? This is uh, this is your new home for the time being. I know it's exposed to the sky, but you'll love it. You'll love the sun. You could do with it. Get some vitamin D. <laughs> 
but yeah, I guess I've got to capture the next two Elder Guardians. So they should be in the two wings of the Ocean Monument. And I'd quite like to do that now, but I think it'll be safer if I get myself a resistance beacon. So let's just pick this up from the creeper tree. It's not really needed here anymore. I'm done with the tree. I just need to name some more of the creepers. <laughs> if you have any suggestions for creeper names, let me know. I'll consider them. Right, and now let's head back again. Oh, it's raining. No, what? Riptide all the way back. Let's see how fun this is. Oh. Right, okay. I'm out of the desert. Right, okay. Activated. Ooh. Hang on. Riptide stacks! I'm going so fast! I'm supersonic! <laughs> Look at how fast the clouds are going. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is a lot faster than I thought it would be. Wow! <laughs> I can't even see the clouds anymore. Um, <laughs> I'm probably a little bit too high. Oh my goodness, I've gone way too far. I've just skipped straight over the monument without realising. <laughs> oh, the map didn't update, so I was looking at the map to see where I was and... I just flew straight over it. <laughs> I guess I'm flying in the other direction. I'm going so fast that Minecraft has no idea what biome I'm in. <laughs> Waiting for chunk dot dot dot. Right. Land in the ocean, because I'm worried about um, taking fall damage from doing that. Just negate all of that. Right, so uh, let's just place the, the beacon. If these guys will let me place a beacon, then that would be great. Right, this is the last few blocks. They're being very aggressive. They don't want me doing this. But just put in the emerald. Resistance, resistance to. There we go. Awesome. And uh, I think I'm being attacked by phantoms. And oh my goodness, they can go underwater. Wow, that's horrifying. <laughs> I didn't know they could do that. Right, um, have a trident. <laughs> right, so I've just cleared out a second tube. So let's get this, uh, this Elder Guardian going. Uh, oh, come on, I just drank the milk. I only got one block out. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's try this again. Right, okay. Second Elder Guardian, here we go. Where even is the Elder Guardian? I have no idea where he is. I do want to pick up these uh, these sea lanterns though. I would quite like those. Right, so let's just block that doorway so that nothing can escape out that way. And where's the Elder Guardian? There he is! Right, okay, so just gonna block off this exit too so that you can't escape through here. So this is rather a hassle. Right, just kill the Guardians. Don't want them in here either. There we go. Oh, he's up there! Right, I can lock him up there. Um, really easily. Just stay up there, stay up there, stay up there. Just let me... Let me place these blocks. Thank you very much. Just, just stay there, dude. Just, just, just stay. Just stay. You know you want to stay. No, don't don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. You know you want to stay there. No, no, go backwards. Thank you very much. Just... Just stay there. I... I... I'm very thankful for your cooperation. And I'm aware that I'm drowning at the moment. That that's fine. That's fine. Right, okay. I've locked him in. So let's just place the sponge. There we go. Right, okay, that's most of the water. Right, okay, I think that's all of the water. Excellent. So let's place the rails down and get this guy away. Right, okay, just need to place one torch here. And uh, if you would like to come back down here, hang on, I'll just wall this off in case he manages to get out again. I don't think they can fit through one block uh, one block gaps, but you never know. Right, okay. Let's get the minecart and send them off. Get in. Please get in. There we go! It's two Elder Guardians captured. Okay, that, that, that was good. I'm glad I got the resistance beacon. That, that felt a lot less dangerous than the other time. <laughs> right, two Elder Guardians captured. One more to go. Once more into the breach. Let's do this. Right, let's clear out the area a bit. There's a lot of kelp, a lot of seagrass on these things. And uh, these guardians are giving me a bit of a hassle. <laughs> Please stop targeting me. I promise you I don't taste good. Well, I don't think they care about taste. Like, I promise you I'm not, a, I'm not a threat. I'm just here to steal your... your gods? Your... your elders? Your elders. I'm here to steal your elders. <laughs> 
they will be mine. Right, just finish off this tube. Just, just don't notice me, guardians. Just don't notice me. There's a lot of them there. <laughs> there is a lot of them there. I could do with not being seen. And I could do with some more milk. Hello, cows. <laughs> Thank you very much. I needed that. That should allow me to break through the, the, the ocean monument. Right, let's drink this. Break in once again. Hopefully before mining fatigue kicks in. <laughs> before the jump scare. Right, so there's not actually an elder guardian in this room, so... Uh... I'll block this off, and I'll try and look for him. He shouldn't be too far away. He's probably just swam out the the exit here. I reckon he's through this doorway somewhere. That's a normal guardian. And there's the elder guardian behind him. Just around the corner. Okay. Right, I'll, I'll take the uh, the sea lantern. So I, I quite liked the sea lantern, although I don't think I picked it up just then. Right, I'll just mine that pillar down, and I'll try and push him towards the exit. <laughs> Come on, just go back in your hole. No, no. Oh, he's he's gone down there. He's done exactly what I didn't want him to do. <laughs> that is a shame. <laughs> right, okay. I think I've blocked him in. He shouldn't be able to escape anymore. Get away from the door, please. There we go. Right, um, I should probably split this room in half as well, just to make it easier on the sponge placement. Sponge time! There we go. There's a lot of uh, source blocks forming these, I think. Um, hang on. Sponge here. There we go. Right, so is that everything? No? Still not everything? Right, okay. Now it's everything. Right, so I guess I just need to set down the rails and send this guy off as well. That'll be the last Elder Guardian. Don't mind me. Just gonna place down the rails for your kidnapping and right in front of your face. Got the minecart. Send him away. Bye! Oh, he stopped. Okay, I didn't power that rail. Or maybe he's stuck. Redstone torch. Just place a block there. There we go. No, not that way. Why did he go that way? <laughs> right, just push him up there. And he's off! I think he just took a bit of suffocation damage, but that's fine. So, uh, yeah, that's three Elder Guardians captured. That was hard. <laughs> that was that was quite difficult, but definitely doable. Oh, excellent. I've gotten three, three boys in here. And if I just block them off like that, then they can't see me. Isn't that a sight? <laughs> How many people have you seen capture Elder Guardians in Hardcore? <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is uh, this is cool. I'm glad I've got these guys at my uh, disposal now. I can use them in builds at some point, way in the future. I don't know how close to the present time that's going to be, but it's going to be done at some point. I'm going to use these guys for something. This is just to show what the Ocean Monument looks like at the moment. It's uh, it's not the best of redesigns at the moment. <laughs> It's just enough to get the, the guardians out. And it succeeded, it's, it's, it's all I needed to do. Definitely doable. So, because I'm going to use these guardians at some point in the future, I'm going to name them. So, I've gotten three prepared already. You will be Scylla, or Scylla, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, you will be Charybdis, or Charybdis, I don't know how to pronounce that either. These are two sea monsters from Greek mythology, so I thought, I thought they'd name them after that. And then this guy will be Gary. <laughs> two sea monsters. And Gary. Gary the Elder Guardian. <laughs> but yeah, I guess I'm going to have to make that the end of the episode today. So, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did enjoy, then I hope you return, and if you do return, I guess I'll see you next time. So on that note, bye! Thank you for watching.